as we get our Space Invaders game closer and closer to where we want it, um, we have three different aliens now, and we've got our grid formation that we're looking for. The problem we have right now is that only one row of aliens is actually behaving the way we want. And because of the way we constructed the game, we made Alien A first, and then we made Alien B, and then we made Alien C. So if you look at Alien A, Alien A's code in the act method, you can see there's quite a bit of stuff here. And this is what tells the alien what to do, how to, how to behave. So every time the act cycle runs, the alien moves by however much we put in the X move variable. And also it bounces off the screen, off the ends of the, uh, of the screen, sorry, the sides. And then here we tell the alien, um, you know, if the shot timer has gone far enough, then shoot a bullet at the hero. Now we've created these new aliens, B and C. And you can see we put constructors in there, but they don't behave the same way because we don't have anything in the act method. So the common way to do it for beginners is they go, okay, well, I'm going to go get this code, copy it, and then paste it right into here. And that's okay. It would work, but there's yet again a smarter way. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the actor class and we are going to right click and we're going to make a new subclass and we're going to call it alien and we are not going to give it an image. Okay. And then we're going to say that alien a right here, alien a extends actor, meaning that an alien is going to do everything an actor can do, plus all the stuff that we've coded. But an alien A, we're going to say that it extends alien. And then see what happened over here? This moved. I'll do it again for alien B. Change this to alien and watch what happens. Alien B moves over here. And what this diagram says, as I do it to alien C as well, is that Alien, A, B, and C, they're all going to be subclasses of alien. So alien is going to be kind of like our generic alien. We want every alien to do whatever we put in here. And what we want is we want all of our aliens to do all of this stuff. So I'm going to cut this out of here, and I'm going to put it in the act code of my kind of generic alien. And you'll notice that there's some stuff missing. So I got to go back here, get all of this stuff as well, cut that as well, and put that into alien. So we're making kind of a parent alien class. Many call this a super class of alien. And all of our aliens are going to inherit this ability. So all of our aliens are going to do this and all of our aliens are going to have this unless we override it in the individual classes and we'll get into doing some of that later so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go into my actually let's run it i'm going to run it first so we'll run it and watch what happens nothing i broke it and that i wanted to show you that before i go and fix it because the reason that this is happening we're, we're running it right now and absolutely nothing is happening. And that's because the computer is trying to read the act method of each individual alien. Because each individual alien has its own act method. But what we want is we want all of our aliens to use the act method that is in the super class alien. So I'm going to go to alien C and I'm going to take out the act method entirely. I'm going to go to alien B, do the same thing, and I'm going to go to alien A, do the same thing. And now, watch what happens. Now we have all of our aliens behaving the same way, and I'm still able to shoot all of them, but they are behaving the exact same way. Perfect. This is what we call inheritance. It's when one class, for example, Alien A, inherits characteristics or methods or abilities 
from another class like alien. And we've been doing this the whole time. Alien inherits from actor. Bullet inherits from actor. Counter inherits from actor. Winworld inherits from world. Level one inherits from world. And so we've been doing this stuff, but we just haven't really formalized it yet until we get this really useful way of making multiple aliens. And you can imagine if I wanted to make more aliens, all they would have to do is add their picture. Because if you look now in here, there's essentially nothing other than a constructor. And all of the aliens are following these rules. Now, if I had a specific, let's say I had an alien that I wanted to do something slightly different, then I could program in its own act method. So if I put this back in, and you've seen this already, but just to hammer home the point, if I put a blank act method for alien C, even though alien has this, watch what happens with alien C, the bottom row. It behaves differently. That's because the computer thinks that we're trying to override the act method found here with something found here. So if I were to take this code, let's just take this code right here and put it in alien C and just quickly say that's a 10. We'll just, this is just for an example. Oops. Actually, no, I can't do that, can I? We'll make this one move slower again to illustrate the point. So if we wanted alien C to move slower, I could put that code in the alien C class and then it will use the act method found for alien C. But if there's no act methods found for alien B or A, it will use the act method found in the superclass alien. So watch what happens here. You can see that alien C behaves quite differently than the other ones. We've got it moving way too quickly, and I think that, oh yeah, again, just an example, but let's try again. There we go. It's moving slower. So I can make aliens do slightly different things, but I don't want to. So this is a pretty big concept. It's called inheritance, and uh, this is the way that we can make, you know, if you think about a game like Mario, <coughs> a game like Mario might have a, a super class called Enemy, and then subclasses might be Bowser and the Koopa Troopa and, you know, all the, the famous enemies from Mario. And it can even break down into further super uh, classes like that. And there can be inheritances from Alien A and from Alien B. You know, maybe I want an Alien A1 and an Alien A2 and an Alien A3. I can keep going with this inheritance idea that's very useful. So there you go. That's how you can use inheritance to make your Space Invaders game even better.